Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. My name is Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. Today is Monday, and there's another wonderful week of learning ahead of us. So let's start off with our good morning song, and I have my friend, the pig, who's going to help us sing. Are you ready? Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Laura for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brain strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on friends, for some learning and some play. All right, let me put my pig away and we'll go through our schedule for the day. So we're gonna do an emotional check-in. And today we're gonna talk about an emotion called surprise. Have you ever been surprised before? Well, there's gonna be some farm animals that get into some places where they're not supposed to be, and we'll sing a song about it. And then we'll do our weekly investigation. So this week, our book is The Cow That Went Oink. Hmm, is that what cows normally say? Hmm. And then we'll do a project, and we'll end our day with a goodbye song and a goodbye smooch. Mwah! Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, let's sing our song first. It's called The Cows in the Kitchen. And it's about a feeling called surprise, like I mentioned. Can you show me a surprise face? <gasps> Have you ever been surprised before? Maybe on your birthday where you got a present if you celebrate, or maybe you saw a cool insect when you were taking a walk? Well, in this song, there's gonna be some farm animals that go into a house. There's a cow. There's a sheep, and there's a pig. Do they belong in a human house? No. So let's sing a song about being surprised. It goes like this. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. What shall we do, tell farmer? Then the sheep are going in the living room. Here we go. Sheep in the living room, ba ba ba. Sheep in the living room, ba ba ba. Sheep in the living room, ba ba ba. What shall we do, tell farmer? And then there's pigs in the bedroom. How silly! Let's sing that part. Pigs in the bedroom, oink oink oink. Pigs in the bedroom, oink oink oink. Pigs in the bedroom, oink oink oink. What shall we do, tell farmer? Then what shall we do? We're gonna shoo them away, of course. So here we go. Chase them away, shoo, shoo, shoo. Chase them away, shoo, shoo, shoo. Chase them away, shoo, shoo, shoo. That's what we'll do, tell farmer. So I hope that you sing this song with me throughout the week. Okay, right now, I'm going to give you a clue that's gonna tell you about the book that we're going to be reading. Are you ready? So here's our board, and remember when we write lot, when we write words, we use lines and curves. So this is a very simple letter I'm gonna put right here. Do you recognize that letter? Yes, it's the letter C, the letter C for cow. Right now we're gonna watch a video about the story, the cow that went oink. So let's watch together. It's story time. The Cow That Went Oink by Bernard Most, retold by Miss Lara. There was once a cow that did not moo like other cows. This cow went oink, 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 oink. The cows that went moo laughed at the cow that went oink. All the animals on the farm also laughed at the cow too. 
The horse said, "Nay, ha." The pig said, "Boy, ha." The mouse said, "Squeak, ha." The sheep said, "Ba, ha." And the chick said, "Beep, ha." The cow that went oink was very sad. Until one day, she heard a friendly moo. She was surprised to see a pig that went moo. The pigs that went oink all laughed at the pig that went moo. They said oink ha, oink ha. And all the animals on the farm laughed at the pig too. The horse said nay ha. The pig said oink ha. The mouse said squeak ha. The sheep said ba ha. And the chick said beep ha. The pig that went moo was very sad until the cow that went oink had an idea. She would teach the pig to oink. So the cow that went oink made a loud oink. Oink 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 oink. And the pig listened very carefully. Then the pig that went moo tried to oink. She said, "Oink moo, oink mook, oink oo." All the other animals in the farm. Thought this was funny and kept laughing at the pig while she tried to say oink. But the pig that went moo didn't listen to them. She listened to the cow and kept practicing. Until one day, she finally went oink. Yes. Now she would teach the cow to moo. The cow that went oink tried to go moo. Moink. Moink, coo, mook, until the cow that went oink finally went moo. The cow and the pig were so happy that they could moo and oink. Yes. The cow and the pig were the boink, only boink, animals boink, that boink, could boink, both boink, moo boink, boink, and oink, so they had the last laugh. The end. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. Remember that you can check out more stories on the Sora app, all about farm animals and other things. So right now in our project place, we're going to make this cow mask to help you remember the story and to wear it throughout the week. Here are the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need a paper plate, black paint or paper, glue, yarn, and a hole punch if you want to wear it and other decorations of your choice. So I used just paper and glue and scissors to make my mask, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. The very first thing I did was I cut out this pink oval part, which is kind of like the cow's nose, isn't it? So do you know what an oval is? An oval is like a circle, but it's kind of stretched out, isn't it? So I got a pink piece of paper, and I'm using my scissors and guiding my scissors all the way around. Notice that I'm using my helper hand to kind of hold the paper in place. All right, I think I got my oval. Don't forget to save those scraps. We use everything here. So here's my oval. Next, I'm gonna take my glue. Now, normally I would use a glue stick, but today I'm going to use just this regular glue. If it comes out here. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, it came out a lot. It waterfalled out. Now the trick with glue is to not glob it on. You just kind of want to use a little bit. All right, here's the beginning of my cow. It has its first part. Next, I think I'm going to start making the black spots that are going to cover the cow's face. Have you ever seen a cow before? Now, not all cows are black and white, are they? Some cows are brown. Some cows are whiter than others. Some cows even have horns on them. Do you know what those cows are called? 
Now cows give us lots of things. They give us milk and ice cream. That's my favorite. Do you like ice cream? You know, when I was little, I used to think that there were special cows that made chocolate milk. Like you can squeeze it out of them and it was already chocolate. That's silly, huh? So you can see I cut out a black kind of squiggly circle. It's what we call an organic shape. Now you can learn all about these shapes when you watch Mrs. Reed Wright's art class, can't you? She teaches us about organic and geometric shapes. So I'm moving it back and forth and around and around, just kind of making some more cow spots. Oh, my cow is gonna be very spotted. Here we go. Some glue. And we're gonna put that in. Now what I like to do when I'm using this kind of glue is I like to hold it down for a little while so it can stick. Usually about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's add one more spot. Again, we're cutting an organic shape, going around and around. This is good cutting practice because there's no right way to do it, is there? You can just kind of make it work and however it comes out is just lovely. Okay, here we go. Some more swirls for my glue. Let's put this one right here. I'm gonna hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. Next to my cow is going to need some eyes. Of course, I'm gonna save the scraps. So to make the eyes, I again need ovals. Do you remember our trick for cutting down time? We're gonna fold the paper in half like this, and then we're gonna cut around, and magically, we're gonna get two eyes. I have to think about cow's eyes. If you ever look at pictures of a cow, they actually have really long eyelashes. Maybe I'll add some eyelashes today. I don't think I'm gonna have time, but I'll work on it when I leave you boys and girls. Let's see, here's the eyes. And of course, we're gonna need some black in the middle. Let's do that. Isn't it amazing what you can create with just a little bit of paper, a plate, and some imagination? Okay, I'm gonna glue these on and I'll show you where we're at. Ooh, here we go. This was more circular. I'll have just enough time to put the eyes on. Ooh. Of course, my cow still needs ears and some horns to make it just the right kind of mask. If you wanted to wear this, you'd punch holes on the side and cut out the eyes. Otherwise, you'd put it on a popsicle stick. Okay, it looks like our time here is coming to an end, boys and girls. I wanna remind you to come back tomorrow where we're gonna have some fun farm exercises that we're going to do together. Until then, this law reminds you to use your imagination every single day when you learn and you play. This law sends you a big squeeze and a big smooch. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you again tomorrow. Don't forget your mask, goodbye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.